Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, what are we going to learn today? Well, if I tell you that you work in sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4, different sheets, right? But you have to merge the sheets and work together. This is going to be a great problem because you are going to do them one by one, which is very humongous. But suppose I tell you there are hundreds of such sheet, then it is going to be an impossible task. We will automate the entire process, whether it is four sheets or 40 sheets, different sheets, same data. We will merge them together in one sheet within minutes. This is going to be an amazing video. So watch till the end how we pull off this entire thing. This we will do with the help of Power Query. So now what are we waiting for? Let's go. I welcome you all once again and what we are going to learn today is something very special. We all have to sometimes work on multiple files. Suppose you are an employer and you have to do some stock audit or special audit of multiple stores where you have sent different employees. So the format will be same and there may be five to six employees who will work differently on different sheets. Now you have to merge those files. So that becomes a cumbersome process because each and every file you have to keep merging and if the number is huge, that is a headache. What we will learn today is to merge different files. First, I will show you the manual way, then using AI, how we can merge. And third one is automation, which is my favorite, where I'm going to show you that even if we keep updating data many times, we will not have to do the entire working and again and simply by clicking one single button our data will get updated so now let us look into the practicals very simple i have four sheets from the west region there are some sales from the east region there are some sales similarly from the north similarly from the central okay so what we will do is open up an output file where we will merge every single th files okay so you can see this is blank and i will show you the folder where everything is kept there are some extra files also maybe video files pdf files etc so first thing is manual which is very very simple we go to central and copy paste okay next we go to north and copy maybe from here and paste right this is age old method and old style of working which is absolutely disaster Okay, second method is little bit better using AI to do the work. So we will go to our friend chat GPT and let us see what prompts I have given. Everything you will get the link in the description. Don't worry, concentrate on learning because once you learn the thing, the possibilities become endless. So simple, I have uploaded the files and I want to write macro that merges all the files in the folder. Simple. So this is the thing, right? And here it has given us the code. I will show you step by step process, although it gives us the process and everything. But anyways, I copied the code and went to our output file, Alt F11, where we get this dialog, visual basic dialog box, insert, module and paste, simple copy paste. We will close it and we will run it now, Alt F8, merge file in folder. Now enter the folder path where Excel files are stored. So we will go here and this is the folder path and control V. Okay. Simple within one second. Every file got merged. You can see central, east, northwest. One lacuna is that you will also get everything like the headings. Not an issue since the headings are same. With simple filtration, you can remove it. Not a big issue. But what is a big issue here is that if we update the folder, suppose there is a fifth employee, right? So we have to rerun the process again and old workings will be deleted and everything, right? So if we rerun, suppose now, suppose there is one overseas also, okay? So if I paste here, here nothing will happen. So you have to again freshly run the VBA code, which means any working which you have done here is gone. So we will use the third method 
which is my favorite using power query automation very simple we go to data get data from file and from folder where we will paste the location of the folder you can see this is the folder where all their all files open and since we have other files here we directly cannot combine because we can see mp4 maybe pdf word whatever so we will click on transform data what we can do is filter out the files at the basic level so what we will do is we will keep only those which contains dot xlsx okay dot xlsx so this will filter out all the files which are not of excel right so the next step is very very simple after filtration we will remove the other columns okay so remove other columns and now we will click on this dot so that it will combine the files for us and simple you can choose any of the file so we will click on sheet one and okay so this will merge all the files for us okay so i think the work is almost done and you can simply go close and load and this way simple simple steps using power query you can see how beautifully the headings have not come and everything has merged right now let me show you the magic so here you can see that order number region month sales quantity okay we have another file here overseas and we will match the headings order number region month sales quantity but here it is quantity sales and month so it is different right the headers are different but without changing let us see what happens we will simply update our folder in the example folder i have kept the overseas one no matter how many files you add you simply go to query and refresh and you can see that in the overseas also the month has come in the month column the sales have come in the sales column in spite of the fact that the headers were different power query is smart enough to understand the headers and do the working only note of caution is that the header should be same same up to the extent of even cases cases means upper case and lower case are two different things for power query and i have already said in my earlier video power query is case sensitive so small m o n t h i will show you by writing month and month are not the same for power query in that case it gets complicated so little bit of working little bit of caution you have to see that the heading name is the same order does not matter but case as i said case will matter and when there are different headings it is really little bit headache because you have to use the m language which is the language of power query so i have shown you today that we can do it through ai but it has got some limitations we can do it through automations where you will get a lot of benefits so merging file is really really easy and please stop using the manual processes start using technology start using upgraded excel tricks and techniques that you can learn every day that's all for today don't forget to like the video so that youtube comes to know that you have started following quality content and you have upgraded yourself and also if you have not subscribed to our channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite part today and if you have really learned something see you in the next video where i am going to bring something more exciting about power query the age old formulas of v lookup and everything which i have been using you will stop using after that i am sure so stay up